Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter card game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Processing. Processing is a three to six player game. It takes about 30 minutes to play the game and it's ages 14 and up. In the game Processing, you're basically going to be a humanoid a person working under the employment of aliens. These aliens all have their own unique goals. And well, actually I'll read it because this is actually pretty funny. In Processing, you're everyday people forced into employment by alien conquerors. Your task is to sort out Earth's remaining survivors. Casting votes on passing uh, on the passing conveyor belt, determining who gets to be freed, who gets to be probed for science, and when, and who gets to get processed into meat. Make your seat of the, of the alien bosses the happiest, and you are going to be free, fail, and your kibble. Basically the idea is you can actually, you, you have the, those three options for cows and for people, and you'll have your own ability to vote on what should happen to these people. You're trying to make your alien employers happy. You're going to get these different alien employers in your hand, maybe the gray anarchists or the VZ tours, uh, the classy gray aliens, the space clowns, the sim pathetics, the body snatchers, and so on and so forth. Each round you're going to try and make one of your bosses in your hand happy, and you got three rounds to go through. You're going to gain points provided you make them happy, and you're going to gain mad cow negative points if you make them sad. Whoever has the most negative mad cow points cannot win the game regardless of how many points they have, and if you go too far on the track you lose. Whoever has the most points though and isn't on the farthest of the track is going to win the game and uh, progress on this track here and be crowned the one human being in the group that does not get eaten, probed, or uh, set free. Well, oh no, set free. That's what they get. <laughs> Otherwise, they'll get eaten. All right, so that's the basic idea of the game. Let's go ahead and take a look at processing and see what it looks like. So here's the game processing and everything included in it. As you can see, you're going to get a box and as well as the rule book here. You're going to get these doubling tokens here, which you can use to increase your vote or increase your score at the end of the game. And these are all of the different alien employers that you're going to be able to choose from. In a five and six player game, you'll get these these ones as well included and you can shuffle them all together. There's a conveyor belt and of course a card lot that will increase and it will show you the different uh, types of beings on the cards and how they're going to be voted. Some of them already have preset votes and other ones you'll be able to choose the locations on here and, and vote yourself. Whoever has the most of these is going to get these guys in either probed, freed, or processed. Uh, these are your character cards that are front and back and they have different names on them as well as you have the mad cow tracker and the points tracker over here. In the game you got this thing that goes along here, whoever gets the farthest along this track, they also have a plus 10, which says you can go even farther along the track. And this one over here has a plus 20, which means you can get even farther along the track as well. Originally, I said that if the person gets a 10, you lose. That's not the case. It's just the person who gets the farthest along on the mad cow track. That's the person that's going to lose. But this is all the components in the game. All right, let's come up and talk about it. So what you saw previously was the game pretty much already set up. Other than the fact that you need to make sure you choose a worker, uh, basically a color, as well as choosing four, uh, after shuffling these guys up, employers. These employers Employers are going to require you to do certain things. Some of them want you to save humans, other of them want you to probe them, and some of them want you to eat them. You're going to be trying to satisfy them, but luckily you don't have to satisfy a specific one throughout each round. You have to, at the end of the round, choose which one you think will best be uh, happy with the way you performed along with the group. And you're trying to, of course, satisfy any one of them specifically, and you might even choose to make your strategy so that you can try and satisfy a specific one throughout the entire round, which would probably be very beneficial, but you're going to be doing that with votes, and you're going to be getting three of each type of vote to begin the game with. The probing vote, the processing vote, and of course the freeing vote. You have two different types of animals. You've got cows and you've got human beings. And uh, on the different ones, like the veginators, they want you to eat cows and humans, and they want you to save cows and humans, interestingly enough. If you can do that, you're gonna gain points. Oh, sorry, no, it wants you to save cows and humans, and it wants you to not eat them. And if you do, you'll get those negative cow points. So you can try and choose to do that throughout the entire round. But at the end of it, you choose which one you want to utilize and score on those points. Of course, remember, the more you play of them, the later the rounds get, the less opportunity you have to select which one you need. During each of the rounds, you're going to be um, choosing to place down your votes on the different lot cards here. When they get filled up, they're going to be then used and placed under a specific one of the different categories. Every first player turn, you're going to add another lot card. If it ever gets to six, you're going to immediately vote on the top one, and at any, uh, after the uh, rounds are over, if there is more than three, you're going to also process those ones and put them down in the spots. After that, you choose one of these cards here and move on to the next round. After you satisfy all three of the rounds of the game, you're going to check to see your point value based on how well you did on your cards, as well as your mad cow. If you have the most points without having the most mad cows, you're going to win the game. All right, let's go ahead and show you what it looks like and a couple turns of play. So back to processing, as you can see, and each of the players has their own color, green, blue, and black. And they have your 
mad cow symbols over here and your point scoring over here. You start with three lot cards here in the conveyor belt, and these are your votes. Every player is going to get three of each type along with a double vote and or double score at the end of the game if you don't utilize it. These are the different categories, probe, free, and process, and you'll be, may, may, you'll be uh, processing these cards here into one of these three areas, provided they get filled or at the end of the round. There's going to be six turns, and uh, there's gonna be, every player is going to get six turns in a round, and there's going to be three rounds. And you're going to be utilizing your votes on these cards here. The first player will start, and simply their action is going to be to place one of these votes on one of these cards. The first player that starts the game is always going to be dropping a lot card down and placing it uh, down below the conveyor belt. If at any point there's six cards, this one at the top is going to get processed based on its votes. If it has uh, a tie or there's no vote here, it's going to go to the bottom of the deck face up, you saying that it basically went through. Okay, so now we've got these guys here. This guy's going to get to choose to vote. And remember, it's based on these agendas here. These are the different characters he's going to have or employers, and they have different requests of him. And you're going to look at them and determine what's the best for you. Uh, these are all the humans, cows, and then what you don't want to do. So this is saying to save humans, two of these guys here. And this is saying to probe cows and to free cows. And this is saying don't eat humans, don't eat humans and cows. So maybe this might be a good one to save for later and focus on these guys here. This says you just wants to eat everything and not probe anything. So maybe that's what he's going to do. So he says, okay, I want to eat humans. I want to eat cows. This already has an eat symbol on it. I'm going to go ahead and place this right here, signifying the fact that it's going to make these guys get eaten provided nobody ties it. So he's then going to end his turn. The next player is going to get to go and select something. He'll look at his agenda cards as well to determine what he wants to do. And of course, they are all different as well. This one, he's a big prober, this guy here. And uh, this guy over here, he he wants to eat humans, he wants to probe cows, and he doesn't want to free into the humans. So he's going to determine what he wants to do as well. Now you can obviously change your tactics based on how the round is going, based on how people are voting, but you'll have those options. So maybe this player is going to go start going for the probing round, he'll place one there. The next player over here will look at his cards as well and determine what he wants to do. Maybe he also wants to eat humans and cows, or eat humans and not. And eating cows is not a negative effect on one of his cards, so he'll place that there. That, thusly that guarantees that this card is going to trigger with eating eating. Okay, so um, that is going to happen, then the next player is going to get to go, the first player, and he's going to go ahead and drop another one of these cards down, and the votes will continue. Player is going to keep voting until six turns are over, and there's going to be only three uh, votes left that they did not use. Everybody will then get two more votes for each of these things here, and based on the things that process, so after these things have been determined, like, okay, this is, uh, somebody voted here, made that happen, this would actually go into the eating area over here, maybe somebody, we did the voting over here, and this was all probing, so we go over here and uh, we'll say that this one and uh, this one got freed, okay? And of course, always there's going to be three for each next round. And uh, uh, oh, there's going to be an, an additional uh, two for each person here for the next round. Anyway, we'll look at the end of a round. So the end of a round over here is simply going to be, okay, there was one human probed and two cows probed. Well, this one here has uh, two humans freed and two cows freed. And then this one has one of each being eaten. Players are going to choose between their cards here to determine which one is going to score them the most points and make them lose the least amount of points. This one doesn't want humans probed, so that could only mean one, minus one point. This one doesn't want cows to be eaten so that's still minus one point. And this one doesn't want cows to be freed, which would be minus two points. This is the least likely one they're going to use because it would go down the mad cow track the most. Maybe they would probably utilize uh, this one here. Uh, which says, okay, freed humans. There's two freed humans, so you get two points. And uh, there's one eaten human, which would give you one point. And then, of course, there's one uh, probed human, which would make him go one track on the mad cow tracker. Oh, he's black, sorry. Um, and then that would be hit for him. This would be utilized, so we couldn't use it for the next round. And each other player would do the same, moving across this track here in some way, moving across the Mad Cow Tracker through all three of the rounds. The last round is only going to net you one of each of the different resources, and you'll only have to use what you have in your pool. Another thing is to use, whenever you have some people votes, you can choose to use this only once in the game, but you can count as a double vote. So this would actually count as two freeze, or you could count as two probes or two, or two processing. And that can be utilized uh, in a specific really good way at the end of a game, as well as if you save it, you can gain bonus points instead. And the game is pretty much just like that, utilizing your agenda cards through each round, making sure you process, probe, and free the right type of human beings and uh, or, or animals based on uh, the cards you have access to, and trying to lose as little points as possible from the mad, or try and gain less mad cow tracker points and gain as many of the bonus uh, good points in the game that you possibly can. Whoever has the most points at the end of the game with having the least amount or not the 
highest amount of these mad cow points is going to win. So if this was the case here, then obviously gray would win. However, if it was like this, actually it would be blue that would win because, uh, sorry, sorry, it would be green that would win because he would be the farthest along. Or no, let's say, you know, it would be, it would be blue that wins. Blue would be the next highest, but he's not the highest here. So blue would actually win this case. So it, it just depends on whoever is farther along on this track. So it doesn't necessarily matter how far you are on this track if you're farther along on this track as well. So be careful with that. But that's the basic idea of processing. Of course, with the additional um, the different additional agenda cards with multiple players, there's a different amount of setup and, of course, different requirements that will be needed for certain monsters or certain aliens like UFOs and whatnot. These guys only have specific agendas here. But that's how you play the game. All right, let's talk about it. So what do I think about the game processing? Well, first of all, this game has the most unique thing I've seen in quite some time. You're trying to either process, probe, or free cows or human beings, but it works really well, and it's humorous as all heck. Um, the There's a lot of positives, but I'll mention the negatives first to get them out of the way. The first thing is when you start the game and you've got all of these clients here and or agendas that you have to complete, it can get a little mathy because you have to figure out which one is going to be the best as far as points go with you as the game pro progresses, and the start of the game actually takes a little longer to figure out where you want to play than the end of the game does because it gets more and more apparent as the rounds continue and you have less people that you need to please and you have to actually fulfill their roles. And whether you can fulfill them or not is, is going to be questionable because you don't have as much variety but it becomes less mathy and a little quicker throughout the game. Um, another thing is too, the rulebook should be probably a little bit better designed. Uh, it was It's not bad. It did teach me how to play the game fairly easily but there are certain things I was confused on that I, I had to go back and check again. That might be for a lot of games though but that's really all I could think of. Overall, this game's a lot of fun. I really enjoy the fact that I have to determine where I want to vote, how I want to vote, convincing other people to vote with me as opposed to with somebody else. The more players you play with, the more you can try and coordinate who you want people to vote with you for and why you want them to do this or oh we have i might have a guy that likes to save human beings do you let's try and work together on that you know or or maybe we started off trying to eat the humans and cows but realistically it'd be better to not do that because we want to save that for the end you can work together socially in this game which i never saw at the beginning but as i played especially with more players you start seeing the social interactions that take place in processing there's also of course individualistic approaches as well where you just want to get your stuff done and you don't care what anybody else has to say about it and that can make people pretty upset because they can start getting some negative points especially at the end of the game there the conveyor belt is so humorous you're literally picturing humans and cows going along this conveyor belt and you're sitting there as another human being having to determine whether they're going to get probed process or that free and you only have so many votes and everybody else as well but you've got the boss upstairs telling you what you need to do it fits it works the theme functions very well it's kind of an adult humor game but realistically anybody can play this game there's nothing wrong with like the idea of the game is a little risque i suppose but uh, the game itself is perfectly fine. It's not too complicated to learn. It's pretty uh, quick to play. Obviously, the more players you play, the longer it's going to take, and especially at the beginning of the game. The first games you, all, you play is always going to take a little longer than the next ones. Uh, the artwork is fine. It's not like super, super amazing, but it's not bad either. It has some really cool, especially the agenda cards have some cool little aliens and ideas. And if you look at them, I think it was another interesting thing too. If you look at the different uh, aliens, like the Veginators, you want to free humans and free... Uh, cows, but you don't want to eat them. And it makes sense for that specific type of alien race. The body snatchers uh, have an interesting aspect too. They want to uh, they want to free the human beings. So that's what they think they're doing in the movies and whatnot. Tentacle beasts want to probe things. Uh, the Fabuluxians want to probe humans and free cows and not eat people. Eh, all these different things. It works well. Overall, though, it's a fun game. If you like the style game of, of basically voting as a mechanic in which you're just trying to vote the best uh, the best route for yourself, you're going to enjoy this game. If you don't mind the theme of the game and you don't mind the style, I think you definitely want to check this one out. Processing three to six players. It does it does work very well. Fight in a box did an excellent job. Give it my thumbs up. Definitely check it out in the description below. All right, guys, thanks for watching the Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter board game review. If you like this video, go check out some videos here on YouTube, like, subscribe, and comment, as well as check out Processing! Processing Human Beings! It is a silly, silly concept, but I like it. Uh, as well as checking out unfilteredgamer.com. We have tons of blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. And don't forget to do our giveaways. We're giving away two great games right now, and only one I can remember. Uh, Fire's Vital. In fact, it's right here. Yeah! Bam! This is a game similar to... Uh, the island game. What is it? Forbidden Island. Yeah, check it out. It's, 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 it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy this game. It's one of my favorites. Um, as well as, oh, 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 stupid user's beta that's also available. So only a couple more days left. All right, that's all I got this time, guys. Don't check. Oh, do check out everythingboardgames.com and the Giveaway Geek. They do some great stuff. They have even more big giveaways than my own site. All right, guys, that's all I got this time. As always, I look forward to hopefully not having to probe you and process you 
next time. 